Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Tinker77 and this video is going to describe how to create an empty or a void world. You may uh, find a need to create a void world if you want to create a tutorial, which is what I want to do, so I thought I'd make a video on it. You also might want to create a void world so that you can create a redstone testing environment, or you want to make some sort of sky base, or who knows what you might want. That's one of the great things of Minecraft, you can pretty much make whatever you want. But in this video we're going to describe the process that allows you to make an empty or void world and at the end of it you will have a complete world filled with air and a block of glass which is what I'm standing on right now. So let's get to it. Okay, so to create an empty world or a void world we're going to start at the main menu and we're going to press single player. Now from here select create new world. Now here we're on a screen where we can name our world so you can since we're already in the text box here, you can press Control A and then press Delete. That will select all text and delete it. And then we have a blank area. Now we can name our own world. So I'm just going to call this Empty World. Now go down to Game Mode. We're currently in Survival. Two clicks will take it to Creative Mode, which is what we want to do. Now select More World Options. On this screen, we have Generate Structures is currently on. We do not need to generate generate villages or dungeons. So turn that off. We do want cheats on. We do not need any uh, bonus chests. And our world type right here, we want to click that so it goes from default to super flat. Now that we have super flat, we can customize it to what we uh, want for an empty or void world. So click customize. Now this shows what currently is the preset, which is a layer of grass and dirt and bedrock underneath that. And that's the default uh, preset for super flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own preset so click on presets. Now you have this long string of characters at the top. So I want you to click in that box because we don't need that. And you're going to press control A and delete. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define our own preset which will be just uh, filled with air. So what you want to do is you want to type a 3 and a semicolon. This 3 is a version number and it tells Minecraft that we're using version 3 of this particular uh, set of characters so that it knows how to parse what we're typing and create the world correctly. If you use a 1 or 2 it won't work. So now we're going to type the block type which is type in Minecraft with a colon and then we're going to put air. Then you follow that with a comma. Now once you have that done we click use preset. And as you can see here it has now has the air is one layer. Now we click done. Now we're just about ready to click on create new world which will have all the magic happen. But before we get there I wanted to uh, make something clear is that the, once it generates it we will be in creative mode and falling. And you can fall right out of the world unless you double tap the space bar so that you start flying. So we're going to do that now. So I'm falling, I'm going to double tap the space bar and I'm going to fly up. Now what I usually do is I fly up to around 50 or 60 or so so that I have some room below where my character is uh, to place blocks in case I need to go lower. So I'm going to go up to about 60. And there I am. You can see I'm at 60.46. Now what we need to do is we need to put a block on the screen so that we have can place blocks against it and that sort of thing. And what I usually do is I go in and I type set block. Then I put three tildes with a space between them and what that says is put at the block at the current location where the character is and then you give it a block type. Now I always put glass because I like to have a transparent surface and then I can get rid of it later. So I'm going to hit this and instantly there is the block. And then you can just fly up and then if you press space you'll fall down onto your own block and you're good to go. So now that we can uh, are on our block there's one other thing that uh, I like to do, actually two things. Um, as you can see there the the sun or is that the moon I'm not sure but it's still moving and we don't want that to be moving so what you gotta do is you type again you have a game rule now the capitalization is very critical here so it's do with the capital or a lowercase d and you do daylight cycle and you type in false now if you notice the uh, the sun or moon or that bright object there is no longer moving it's, it's kind of stuck in in place so what I also like to do then is I like to have it be noon instead of uh, whatever time it currently is. So I once again I type time set and you want to put this at 6,000. And when you do that, it's now 
one below us, that would be the moon then, and above us is the sun, and it's not moving. So now we have a void world where we can do whatever we need, make any tutorials, we can make a redstone testing world, we can generate whatever we want with a very, very clean environment. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video on how to create an empty or, or void world. If you like the video, please click the like button below. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, you can do that in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of any videos that I'm producing, please subscribe to this channel and you'll receive those notifications uh, when they happen. Thank you and have a good night.